Coat. K O T E. Cote? Cote. Whatever. Colon. Full splint. Comma. No mail. Wait. My keyboard was fucking up. God damn it. Alright. I got it fixed. I've it was just hate. spamming A. <laughs> On the bright side, no matter what, we did get Paige's fucking schedule set for her walking. To be a fair look, she probably should have covered this at some point before the session. Because <laughs> we all knew he was going to need a new armor set. He was just conscripted into the Ashigaru. Yes, this is fair. Okay, so Irons, you have coats. I also got splint, to work. No mail. Nope, didn't even get work any of that. Like Second you start hour. talking, and a. What was that, Lucas? I also got to work like, well, got home from work like an hour before the game, so. No, I meant like sometime last week you could have done this. This is fair. <laughs> it need to be today. <laughs> Anyways, so lines K O T E. K O T E. Colon. Which one was the colon again? I've already Two forgotten. Two dots. Full okay. splint. In the background. Full splint? Yes. Comma. No mail. I swear to God, if you put in no mail as a no guy, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> uh, hmm. You did, didn't you? No. <laughs> Well, I just want you to just, um, <laughs> it's like, don't make me check that sheet. <laughs> okay. That weighs one pound. Pound? Kilogram? We're not exactly sure what exactly the weight translates directly into. Anyways. Then we have the high duffy. H A I D A T E. Oh, fuck. It closed out the thing. <laughs> why is Lucas, this, why he should is have not, enough time to report to his commanding officer by the time we're done with this. <laughs> H A I. And I'm assuming he's probably going to have to go through at least a small handful of drills just to make sure, at the very least, that he still remembers how to swing a sword. He's still up to stuff, yeah. Because that's about all that they really did with Ashigaru, was make sure that the Ashigaru could actually swing a sword and move a shield into the correct spot. After all, an Ashigaru who doesn't know how to use their equipment is worse than useless. Well, no, the, you, you can use them as, to protect somebody of value. No, Lucas, the problem is they don't know how to use their equipment. They're literally just dead weight that is going to potentially get in the way of someone who's actually competent. No, you see, Pacific, the ones that don't know what you're doing, you send in the first wave. Oh, great, and then when they live by some miracle, then you have to curse the gods and then praise the commies because for some godforsaken reason they gave you a hero. No, for some idiot. reason, the guy who has no clue what he's doing somehow just took the fucking battlements. We don't know how. It's happened before. It's like, we don't know how, but he did. And it scared everyone. I will state this. It has happened before in <laughs> Japanese history and folklore where this has actually gone down. Where some guy with no training somehow still managed to make it through an entire battle on the front. Indeed. Anywho, Eins. So have you gotten high Date down? H A I, that's what I was saying. H A I D A T E. Okay. Colon. Splint. Comma. No mail. That weighs one. 
I love my home, it's the heaviest, it makes me happy. Then you have Sunete. Sunate? Sunate. S U N E A T E. Okay. Colon. Colon. Splint. No mail. Yeah, common no mail. One. And that is all of your armor. Eins, <laughs> be thankful. Your armor only weighs 13. A yeah. mid level samurai's weighs 64. Jesus. A daimyo's weighs 40. Chainmail weighs 40. The only person who has less armor than you are firefighters. Yep. In terms of weight, and all their shit only works against fire. Well, all their shit only really works against fire. So now... You scroll down to where your other two pieces of equipment are. Because you have two other pieces of equipment. One is a short... <coughs> sword. Let me see. Both side get a katana. Lucas, an actual katana or a short sword? Uh, they're technically built the same way, but it would is be it a short a sword is name. Is it a katana or a wakasashi? Uh, it would be a katana because wakasashis were actually almost never given to Ashigaru for some reason. Okay, so Ainz, you actually have a long sword. <laughs> It's probably a long sword that's been made a little bit shorter than normal to save on materials. So if they don't expect you to live. I mean, he could have also ended up with the uh, Yama Katana. Anyways, Katana. This is obviously a sword. It has a range of M, which is medium range. Where do I put this? In your melee. Yes, we go in melee. Type katana. One more just have to go pick up food. Core of M? M? No, range of M. Range of M. Range of M. Now, excuse me, as I have to now translate this into what you're supposed to write, because they're not quite the same spots. <laughs> Matty, food! Now that's sorted. Okay. So. The skill in question here. Swords. <laughs> Wait to wait. Yes. Wait. Is that W A? W W T. W T. I don't see that on this. That will go into your inventory. Give me a moment. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I already have the katana. Your thing W A for that zero. Okay. The strength three. Okay. The DC. Four. Okay. What about the DC plus? I forget where that comes from, unfortunately. Got it. So, uh... You'll have to look into that yourself in order to figure out the other few parts. But that should be enough for you to at least swing the sword. <laughs> and then in your equipment, you should write down Katana, weight, two. Got it. Already did it. Okay. And last, but certainly not least. Shield. The shield. Once I find the spot where it is. Where do I add this? <laughs> Guess you know it's great. What? Well, they don't fucking include rules for shields because that's how little they were. They really made a difference in Japan, <laughs> and almost nobody used them. Yeah. 
you saw a guy with a shield, it was a fucking awe-inspiring moment. And then they were probably shot to death by arrows. Yes, Ainz. That is that was standard for Japan. Trying to find the shield. Cause shields were sometimes viewed as cowardly. They were often viewed as cowardly. Ainz, are you absolutely positive that they were Lucas, are you positive that they were gonna hand him a shield? Uh they likely wouldn't have actually. <laughs> okay, Ainz, that's all your equipment. Okay. If you want a shield, you'll have to pick up something like a fucking carriage wheel or some shit. <laughs> no, no. hat. Go, pli go rip a board off your fucking house. Lucas kills a guy, tears off his hat, wears it as a shield. <laughs> I will kill with someone else's steel hat. Also, by the way, Ainz, you cook rice in your hat, usually. Got it. That is your bowl. And if you end up with a horse at any point in time, it's likely that you'll be giving them water with the hat as well. Got it. The hats were very useful. Okay, Lucas, he's all yours. All right, fuckstick. Tom. So, I, no. you know what I'm going to need you to do? No. To establish you know what you're doing with that sword. No. I'm going to need you to swing it. Actually, wait a minute. Before he swings, I do need to double check to make sure I actually got the uh, strength thing right because that could impact the swing. Yes. Because I. Question. They're going to put you. You know, like the little bamboo poles that you actually use to test your swordsmanship? Yeah. They're going to put you next to one of those and tell you to cut it down. Okay. Question. Okay, Can correction. My... That's the minimum strength that he needs in order to use it. Eyes, do you have at least three strength? Strength? Yes. yes. Okay. Just make sure that box says zero. Box says zero? Yes. Okay. No. No, question. Although I usually use a pipe, I use it like it's a sword. Does this mean... No. That, okay. Yeah, there's actual similarity charts that let you use um, a different skill in the place of the skill in question. This Because the pipe I actually use is a certain type of pipe that's meant to mimic swords and fight a sword. <laughs> so keep in mind, katana is not exactly a tradition... You know, well, it is a traditional sword, but it's not exactly the same as just a sword. Yeah. Especially not a straight sword. No. On top of the fact that you actually have to angle katanas more than most swords because it's a single-bladed weapon. So no, this would be using swords. If you Got it. it. I don't have it. Oh boy. So that would be an unskilled test. What do I roll? <laughs> There's three dice here. Going back to the skills section... Also, Ainz, you should be rolling the attack value. So click the dice roller right next to AB. Okay, there we go. He has no modifiers. So Does it work? Attack value. Yeah, 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 19. 19 and a 22. Because he rolled an 11 and a 14. And he On adds the right side because... On the bright side, because I have a table of contents specific, I can just pop to shit like that real quick, real easy. Yeah. Uh, that melee combat. Yep, melee combat. Da -da. It would normally have a uh, fucking, you know, armor value to fight against, I think. Yeah, it'd be stun attack versus armor, making the attack. 
Uh, Making the attack would be what you're looking for. Accuracy, reflect resistance to quality between weapons and other equipment and use facilities. Uh, actually, I would do real damage for this. Let me see, he's just swinging the sword? Yeah. Damage value? Cat, do not need on my ass. Uh, let me see. I definitely need some try to pull off that fancy shit. Anyways. Yeah, now it looks like I gotta go train in swords now. The thing is, I don't think you did particularly bad with uh, how you rolled Using either. weapons have a damage each weapon. I didn't do that. This is, this is not so the point. Ions, um, yeah, in order to determine the damage, you look at the DC. And question, how high are you? Oh, by the way, do you remember that DC plus thing that you're asking about? Yeah. How high is your strength above three? None. Oh, your strength is exactly three? Yeah. Okay, that stays zero. Because that was just additional damage. That's how many dice you would roll on a successful hit. Okay. To determine damage. And then let's see. Hit location won't matter. This is a log. <laughs> Made of bamboo. Yeah. Let's see, hit points is equal to five times his body characteristics, doesn't really matter, it's a bamboo log. Stun points, well it can't have stun, it's technically not alive. Also this is a bladed weapon, this is killing damage. Those always subtract from hit points. Well, the pool of hits. Sure enough, don't you dare hop up on my fucking keyboard. And there's the dismemberment, there's the death. Uh, let's see, I variance, blah, 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 blah. So, defense. To see what happens whenever, um... So, armor is automatically subtracted on a point-for-point -point basis from the damage before it is taken to your hits and stun. It blocks both stunning and killing damage. Uh, your natural physical toughness is stun defense, blah 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 blah. That's not going to be important here. Armor just straight up stops the uh, killing defense. So what determines when you hit? Making the attack. Skill with weapon plus reflex plus a die roll gets you an attack total. Defense plus, no, their dexterity plus evade plus 10. So that since this is a log, he just had to beat a 10 to hit it. He has hit the log. That would have been embarrassing. Good job, Ainge. You hit the log. Especially considering, had you rolled a one or, yeah, had you rolled a one, you would have missed. Because I looked at your modifiers. So, Ainge, now you're gonna roll the DC. No, the DV. DV, DC. I always forget which one the fucking DV is. I just clicked the DV. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Damage is a abstract amount, blah, blah, blah. DC is the damage class. 
One D six is damage class one. When rolling a D, you know, each point in DC represents an additional D six that you're rolling. Damage goes by hand. Blah blah blah. Okay, so damaging value. So that's the damage people. I don't think we're using DV for this. I roll a DC to determine how hard you hit. So he did, so Lucas, he did 10 points of damage out of a maximum for his character of 24. Technically, it is a half bad hit. If we're going by the literal definition. Oh, that's what DV is. It's defense value for if you're trying to, to uh, parry with that weapon. Okay, then. That makes more sense. So, yeah, Heinz, you did 10. Look, as you hear that? Yep. You hit a log for 10. We did big damage, totally. Big damage. We do big damage. It's like almost half my damage, bro. Big damage around here. I cry for you, Lions. Good. Now you know I'm gonna suffer. <laughs> I want you to remember it. I'm not going to cry for that. I cry because I laugh. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to hit and, quote-unquote, kill the fucking... I'd be a little surprised if Bamboo actually has that low of a body, but yeah, makes sense. Evidently, they aren't super impressed by what you did, <laughs> but good enough. You're Ashigaru, not Samurai. Uh, great. Uh, yes, I was hoping they'd just be like, hey, you can go home. <laughs> you can swing a weapon, Ides. You don't get that. Even if you couldn't, they just, you know, take the time to make sure that you can swing the weapon. Dang it. After all, you gotta march to where you're going. There's still time to train you. Also, Lucas, I think I enjoy the most the fact that he rolled a 1, 2, 3, and then 4 in that order. For his damage. Beautiful. So, so, I'm pretty much, actually, we 
could do the commander interaction to its fullest extent, although I'm not sure how Ainz would deal with that. No. Ainz, do you remember how to be respectful? Bow. Lots of bowing. Yes, Cal but do you know how to address someone? Sensei? No. That's teacher. Sama? You have to address someone of a higher rank than you. Sama? There's an actual title. Not just an attachment. Uh. No. Like, your commanding officer might be an Ashi. You know, like might just be an Ashigaru commander. He may be in the same class as you. Say you're referring to someone who is a higher class than you, who is literally the commander of the force that you're at. I don't remember. Well, that depends entirely on who it is. Sama? Lucas, is it a samurai? Uh, as fun as that would be, no, it is still Ashigaru commander. Ah, uh, is an Ashigaru commander? Is he of a higher class than him? No. No? Okay. They're probably going to refer to him as... by his title. The same way as I refer to the magistrate by his title of magistrate. Commander? Yes. Because that's what he is. He's a commander. There's no confusion in here. He is exactly what you'd say he is. And the title in and of itself deserves respect. Got it. At the very least, from you. Yes. The lowly Ashigaru. If it were like a samurai or not, it would be just like, ah, your lordship. My lords. Well, don't forget, Lucas, they also do point out the fact that in actual Japanese, you refer to things from the lord's perspective, not yours. Yes. So you just go, your lordship, your humble servant <laughs> is here, rather than just going, my lord, I am, you know, like, I am here to give you a dire warning or some shit. I'm sorry, my brother came over and started saying I'm fat. It did make uh, Harold's jobs easier, though, considering they use the exact same tense for speaking to their lord as they do for giving out their lord's word. Hmm. So I would just call the guy commander? Commander. Yes, Ainz, until he gives you permission to actually use his refer name. To him with a different, yeah. Yeah, you would refer to him as Commander. And keep in mind, he has no re you know, keep in mind, he is not obligated to give you any name to associate with the word Commander. He can, he just isn't obligated to. And, uh, Ainz, by the way, that held up until after World War II. Even in World War II, they just referred to their commanding officers by their rank. Unlike every other army, where they at least had, like, a pin that was, like, rank class name, so you always knew who the officer was. In Japan, so nope. fuck it up. <laughs> in Japan, nope, it's just the rank. So that you never forgot that the commanding officer is not your friend. Yes. Just remember, Ainz, your life's on the line. Yep. So, uh, you will be brought to the commander. You are, of course, average, so he's doing just inspections, making sure everyone knows how to put on their armor correctly. 
Because that makes him look like a dumbass if he doesn't correct you. Right. Why else would a commander pay any mind to you? Exactly. I have good news. I'm quite good at dodging out of character. I'm like... <laughs> but yeah, in character, I'm just kind of like... You know, very respectful. Bad news, dodging... <laughs> Yeah, bad news out of character. Dodging if the commander officer, uh, commanding officer decides to take a swing at you is technically cowardly. And even more dishonorable <laughs> than whatever the fuck you did to warrant the commanding officer taking a swing at you. Really? Yes. God. If you did something to warrant a commanding officer taking a swing at you, you better take it on the fucking cheek. You take your fucking licks, private. I don't want to die. They wouldn't kill you. That's bad like for I business. Said, like I said, Ainge, you have to warrant actually take <laughs> commanding officer actually taking a swing at you. Anyway, I'll be very respectful. I'll do myself properly. Although it's been a couple of, it's been like, I think... Six years since I last wore this armor like this? A minute, if you mm -hmm. will. <laughs> Do I need to roll something for this, or...? I mean, this is going to be actual roleplay, because you will actually have to initiate this. Godines, I hope you remember what each of those pieces of armor directly relates to. I only said it twice. Yeah, I know. I don't know the order of putting them on. That part should be relatively self-explanatory if you remember what the pieces of armor correlate to. I should. I would probably put the leg, leg, hand, uh, leg. Then the, uh, what's it called? What the fuck is that called again? Uh, Try describing it. It's the one that goes and covers your thigh. You mean the skirt? Yes, the skirt. So I would basically go from bottom to top. Well, technically, Lucas, he's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, the la just for reference, the last. Take a guess at what the last thing you would actually put on is. The skirt. No. No. La the last helmet? out of everything, it would the be helmet? your chest pit. Oh. Because it's so difficult to get everything else on while you have the chest piece on. It's actually very similar to Western styles of armor. Which yeah. Is kind of Remember, scary. just because your chest plate, you know, just because your breastplate folds, does not mean that it folds while it's on you. <laughs> it folds for storage purposes, and that's about it. It is still a very large piece of metal. Metal, wood, Maybe strips, whatever the hell it was made out of. So after I put the armor on, properly, is that work? You 
you're still gonna have to introduce yourself on it. The cat it's doesn't not... know who the fuck you are. Uh... I will, I will give a respectful bow. Need to say... Look... Commander? I thought I was supposed to wait till I was spoken to. <laughs> No, in this particular instance, you're announcing yourself. Ah! So in this case, you would say, you would bow, and a while bowed, say, Commander, uh, then your name, reporting for duty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the military is That's different. You say weird. bowed. Yeah, again, because this is your first meeting and you're introducing yourself and announcing yourself, you're going to stay bowed until addressed. Yeah. After this okay. point, though, if the commander is, like, walking along the lines or whatnot, <laughs> they just expect a quick bow. Yep, you don't unless, address I, them, Unless you're supposed to be standing in formation, in which case it's okay not to bow because you're not supposed to move. <laughs> and bowing in that case would actually be disobeying orders. It's just one of those things where it's like, you bow... Only when it's not going to be directly contradicting an order. In any case, so I bow. And how deep do you bow? Yes, yeah, that's a serious question. Uh... Um, a deep bow, which would be... Well, like, how deep are you bowing, Heinz? Are you on your knees? Are you doubled over? How, how are you bowing? How how much can I bow with this armor on? <laughs> about a proper 90 degree angle, and that's about as far as you can go. So that's probably where I guess that's where I'll go. I don't know... Actually, I don't I know the exact, I don't know, I don't know the angles, okay? I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just do an angle. I guess I'll just do 90 degrees. Well, I remember that the depth of the bow is the amount of respect you have for the position <laughs> that you are currently bowing to. As well as where it is in relation to you. Because on actually your are face, commander. Yeah, on your face would be for, like, a lord. 90 yeah. degrees would typically be a samurai. So yeah, you, he you'd is be the same you. class, higher position than you. So, maybe somewhere between the 45 to 60 degree on the angle. Alright, we'll, we'll do a 50 degree. And remember that, if I recall correctly, Lucas, your eyes stay averted from the face until you're <laughs> actually uh, brought out of the bow. Yes. Yeah. You stare at the ground. So, Ains, run through it all. So you're I not gonna my... get the, You're not going to get this help again. Put my armor on from legs to skirt, then helmet, then chest. I would greet the commander with a 50 degree bow and introduce my name, which would be no. I, no it's a, this is in role play. You're going to have to actually say the line. <laughs> okay. I hope you didn't start with E. No. Good. He might because it might be digging into his gut. <laughs> Wooden armor, Ains. That shit hurts. <laughs> Show no weakness. <laughs> Power through it. My brain almost just did uh, something I read frequently in manga, which is uh, respect to the patriarch, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not the right thing. <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> So, 
50 degree bow after the armor. Um, greetings to the commander. I am Nobu. No. I love how he just stumbled over that. <laughs> No, 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 before the commander has a chance to react and before you finish the sentence, would you like to run that back one more time? Yeah. Okay. Why is my brain having a hard time saying my name? Take three. No, hold on. I gotta get the name. No, 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 no.